Hello everyone, Darsonovia once again. Yes, I've, I've done three videos in one day. This isn't me just recording a video one day or another day. Anyway, it's time to talk about another obscure comic. At least not ones that many people know about. And this is Chewbacca. I know there's other Star Wars, there's a Star Wars comic in the new can that's, that has the same name. But this is the original. This is the first mini series that focused on Chewbacca. Not it kind of focused on Chewbacca, but kind of not. This essentially, you know, the main premise is the C3PO is interviewing various people that have known Chew Chewie throughout the, his life, from his wife to his father to the last person being Han, and ha and and it share various memories. Now, this is one of the few occasions you actually get to get inside a Wookiee's head because you get to actually, you know, re know what they're saying. Though I will admit the art can be kind of a mixed bag because there's some, you know, stories that look really good and some stories that look questionable like Lando's. But then again, each one of these, sto these short stories were done by a different artist. There was four issues in total. Now, does this add anything? If you've read the New Jedi Order series and you felt that you didn't really get any closure after Chewie's death, I feel like this is a good way to get some closure. This is hard to find, actually. I'm, I'm actually surprised I got it really cheap. And... There's an introduction by the actor who actually was in the suit. That's something you don't see. Yeah, the Expanded Universe was taken very seriously back then. Um, I think one of my, fa my favorite story is probably the one with Han. At least the end of it. This takes place, I would assume, right after Vector Prime, and Han Solo is sharing his favorite memory of Chewie, where it, basically it's him, you know, saving, you know, Jaina. You know, this is when 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 she was a, when she was a child. It is a really sad, you know, comic to be honest. It really is. I mean, it just shows how much Chewie's death affected everyone. You know, how it affected the main characters. Yes, you see it in the books, but you actually get to see how much Chewie meant to people. Which, this is something that I loved about the Star Wars Expanded Universe. That just because a character died didn't mean their death, you know, was meaningless. Chewie's wasn't. In fact, I could say in a lot of ways, Chewbacca dying in Vector Prime made people love him even more than they would if he never died. And I feel like this comic, you know, it is it is a pretty good story. It really is. It's very, you know, it's, it's kind of sad towards the end of it because you realize... You know, Chewie's never coming back. I know some people in the comments going to say, but what does that matter? This isn't even canon anymore. The point is, unlike Han's death in the Disney Star Wars universe, Chewie's death mattered. It affected everyone. Everyone was affected by his death. Everyone, Luke Skywalker, one of my favorite, this, this, this is pretty sad, this line he says in, in the book, Actually, and and the one time I could have done something good, save a friend. If this war needed a sacrifice, why did it take me? Yeah, the, it, there's not that many words I could say that makes this a good comic. It really is, and. If you're an Expanded Universe fan and you feel like, you know, Chewie did not get enough enough appreciation, I think you need to read this. 
I feel like this story, along with Vector Prom, I think made people appreciate the character even more. I feel like if they never killed him, people would not appreciate him as they did. This, I give this a classic rating. It really is. I think it's a really good story. One of my favorite comics, actually, in the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And that's the end of that. This is Darsonovia. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.